Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, so which person is this? The new generation does not respect the elders at all. We are not like that. I am ashamed of our youngsters. Oh, I've heard that before. Are you Lieutenant Milorad, Keeper of Traditions of the Warriors Guild? If you are, I'm gonna write you down so I can keep track of who is who. True, only there is nothing to keep anymore. Youngsters don't care about the older customs. What do you mean? Hmm... Does any of you want to join the guild? Yes, I would like to learn. Here's a striking example. In the old days, you wouldn't even dare to open your mouth in front of me without polishing your boots beforehand until they shine. Boy, I'm kinda glad that's changed. The words of a military salute would be letter perfect, and also you would be a man. You know, I don't think I like you. A man? A woman in the guild is a violation of our traditions. But who cares now? Women have been allowed to serve for a while now, and recently the captain have decided to buy some frog cyclops, although by tradition newcomers are supposed to battle rats. The rules and regulations have been formed over the centuries, making us true warriors, and now, nobody cares. This is not the guild anymore, more like some kind of social club. Real mess. Respect them, don't yell at them, ugh. I can't even give rookies the order to give... I can't even give rookies the order the to paint grass. Is that something you've actually ordered? To paint grass? Yeah. They refuse to do even this. Weak lazy bones. You're, you're serious? I'm sorry, but why do you need to paint grass? Oh, Zedadar, not you too. Painting grass is the most important tradition that originates. I, ca I cannot take this seriously. Painting grass is the most important tradition that originates from the time when the Warriors Guild was under direct command of the Army Headquarters. And what's the meaning of this tradition? The point is that young warriors don't think about the what's and why's, they go and paint grass. Do you understand? No. <laughs> Gods, how hard is it? How hard it's with you little brats? You must understand that painting grass is the most important ritual established a spiritual connection. A most important ritual establishing a spiritual connection between the young warriors and our commanding fathers. No military statute, no rule will ever knock the meaning of the word order onto the head of a rookie. The order must be carried out simply because it must be carried out. Painting grass teaches this truth at the subconscious level. Maddie says, it sounds like a futile task, something to test, yeah, like, go get me a bucket of steam. Keepa says, seems more like follow orders, don't ask questions. I feel like asking questions should be really important. So, I'm glad that this tradition has changed. But the Warriors Guild is no longer part of the army. However, the tradition remains, and it must be respected. Alas, young people don't understand the meaning of the word must. Grass painting symbolizes discipline, stability, spirituality, willingness to fight and overcome difficulties. Ultimately, the victory of order comes uh, order over chaos. I mean, if you have good reasoning, then that's important. Have good reasoning. So painting grass can defeat the chaos? Are you serious? It doesn't defeat the chaos itself, it just symbolizes victory. By painting grass, a young warrior proves that he is able to defeat the nature itself. He pays no mind to it, as his warrior spirit grows stronger than any weather. 
You can say that, but I guarantee that the uh, paint is going to wash off during the next rain now. Wait. Stumbled over my words. The paint is going to wash off during the next rainstorm. Hmm. I see. Uh, but let's talk about Monster Supply Contract. How about not? According to the tradition, rookies shouldn't even ask these questions. This is the business of commanding fathers. We always know best. So, you'd prefer giant rats? Of course. Killing rats is a traditional way of training. I had a feeling that you'd be the tough one. Besides, we've been working with the local surprise player for many years. However, watching the rookies fighting rats in the arena over and over again has become extremely boring. So, I haven't decided yet. Perhaps we could help you make the decision. Ha! For rookies, and especially women who don't respect traditions, to persuade me? Never in my life! And if I can prove that I respect traditions? We're about to get a quest of paint grass, aren't we? Yep. You're saying that you're willing to paint grass for my sake? Ugh. I mean for the guild? Yes, sir. Perfect. Perhaps you will make a worthy warrior, son. Uh, daughter. Uh, let's stick with warrior. Someday, warrior, you will make a worthy warrior. Now listen to my order. The front lawn was scorched by the sun, so take the green paint and, well, paint it. Where can I get the paint? Am I supposed to do everything for you, warrior? Go get it somewhere. Can I buy it? No, no, you can't buy it. It's against the tradition. A rookie ought not to have the money to buy it. You just have to get it somehow. Can I steal it? It's called stealing only if you get caught. Well, I still don't like you. The paint is definitely around somewhere in the guild, but who would trust a rookie with it? Therefore, you must get it and paint the grass. Is everything clear? Yes. Saying yes to your mommy. Oh, I wanted to say, yes, sir, Lieutenant Milord, sir. Permission to engage? Granted. About turn, forward, march. I thought only the priests were obsessed with all kinds of stupid rituals. Come on, let's brighten this day. We only need to get the paint. I'm sure we can find it at the local warehouse. You know, I'm kind of hoping that if we are being encouraged to steal paint, we'll get the opportunity to tell somebody of authoritative figureness that we were told by this guy to steal paint and get him in trouble. Welcome to the Warriors Guild. And this person here is probably the last person. And those are the stairs that we were not allowed to come up earlier. I can't live like that anymore. What are you talking about? About her. About who exactly? About that name again. She is my inspiration. My beautiful Vakiri. Are you Lieutenant Novik? We would like to discuss the monster supply contract. I can already tell what this quest is going to involve. Ah, yes. The captain told me to think about it and say my opinion on the council, but I can only think about. You need to choose a girl from with an easier to say name. Either that or tell us how to pronounce it. I wonder if it's a Russian name. It might be a Russian name. You are the pit boss, and you should be the most interested in... I have other things to worry about! Well, here we go again. Listen up. You're girls, right? Isn't it obvious? So please, from a girl's point of view, tell me how to win a girl's heart. 
Okay, well, this is out of my wheelhouse because I'm ace, so... I'll just let these girls explain it for me. Oh dear. Oh, I should have saved before talking to you. Oh boy. Um, ooh, who to choose? Chat, who do I choose? Who is going to give love advice? Kiba says Svetlana or Felicia. Maddie says, I think Felicia, she probably reads romances. That's true. Somebody does read romances. I think it is Felicia. Kiba says, but Svetlana will say some crazy stuff. Yeah, that's why it was really tempting, but... Well, I just chose Felicia, so I guess we're going with Felicia. Show that you aren't only interested in how she looks like. Try to share her interests. But I don't know what her interests are. She is our intendant and sells various things to guild members. Oh, we got to choose different people. Alright, Svetlana's next. Buy her an expensive present. I don't have much money. When no arena fights, Storm Chaser pays me only half the salary. Besides, you lo you Okay. Manny says, I think the you would be said like ooh, so Ludmila. Ludmila? Ludmila. Ludmila. Besides, Ludmila is the intendant of our guild. She already sells everything that she may like. I can't just buy something and give her the present right away. She knows all the prices. Okay, Anastasia or Diana? Ah, uh, let's try Anastasia next. Prove that you are ready to protect her and take care of her. Once I persuaded some men to scare her a bit, I wanted to jump out of bushes and protect her, but she single-handedly took care of them. Neat. Maddie is pointing out that you don't know that she only likes what's in her shop. Maybe she likes books also. I suppose there is no way that works for everyone. But if your feelings for her are so strong, you should definitely confess. Talk to her. No, this is too cliché. Moreover, I will get embarrassed and start to talk nonsense. With her, I am always at loss of words. Well, talk to her anyway. Maybe she'll find you endearing. Feelings can be expressed on paper. Right, poetry! I'll write love poems to her. Girls like that stuff. Good idea. However, I'm terrible at rhymes. Have you considered talking to Gruntilda? I bet Gruntilda would write a very interesting poem for you. Poems don't have to be yours. Hmm. I don't remember anything romantic. Only military marches and army songs. I remember I even sing, Girls warm the bed, the soldier is coming home. But this is clearly not good. Not good at all. The Swifton Library has several collections of love lyrics written by... Oh gosh. Eliphiel himself. He has very beautiful and sensual poems. Yeah, I read them. Stupid writing for country bumpkins. I like it. Because you're a pumpkin. And you are... Are what? I'm from a village, but I'm not a pumpkin. I 
Honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with being a pumpkin. You know, Eliophil is an elf from Edomsil. He wrote poetry for... for the elven country pumpkins. Oh, come on. I can't leave the guild for a long time. Maybe you could help me. Go to the library in Swifton and find some good poetry. If you'd... If Lud... If Lud... If Lud... If Lud... Miela likes it, I will vote as you'd like me to. Great. We'll be happy to help. I think we're doing this only to be allowed to fight. Hey! Where are you going? No trespassing. Sorry, officer. We got a little lost. The exit is in the other direction. Go to the library in Swifton and find the most beautiful poetry. I want Ludmila to be delirious with delight. Hopefully she'll be so delirious that she winds up changing her name. Listen, why the hell do we have to go to the library in the city? Isn't there anything else to do? I can compose poems for this Novik myself. Well, that would be easier than going through the stores again. You know I have to write poems? Sure. Hard to believe. Trust me. I'm sure we can find a pen and paper nearby. I'll write poems for that klutz and call it a day. Oh, this'll be good. Maybe it's better to go to the library in Swifton. Such a waste of time. We have more important things to do. Okay, Quest Journal. Are you giving me options? Write love poems for Novik. Okie dokie. Okay, that is everything to do here, then. Everything that we're able to do, so... Oh, never mind. Time to write that poem. But I'm saving first. Fine. This paper and ink will do. I'm gonna write some poetry now. Uh... Are you sure? Absolutely. Maybe it's better to go to the library and copy a piece from Elias Seal's poems. Ha! Do you think a fighter with from the Warriors Guild would love this mine mimini mimini pimini versus verse monger? But he is an elf. So what? Why do you fawn upon to Edimsil so much? Um I can try to write it down. Do you write poetry? I tried it once. No, we, we gotta go with Svetlana. I saved. I'll come up with something right away. Done! Can I read it? No time for that. Let's go to Novik. I have a bad feeling. Just trust me. I have a great feeling. This'll be really good. Can I can I read it right now though? Nope. We brought the poems. So fast? Uh yeah. We didn't have to go to the library. Wrote them from memory. Perfect. I'm already burning with impatience. Give me the quill and paper as I need to tell Ludmila the, my love story. My heart just aches for her and throbs in all romantic glory. Whoa, see? The poor tree's just seeping out. I am going. Wish me good luck. I want to know what it said. That jingle was interrupted, too. Well, how did it go? 
These were the most ridiculous limericks. Ludmilla laughs at, laughed at me so hard, so she... Uh-oh. She laughed so much that she agreed to skip a glass of her own berry together in the tavern tonight. I think I made her laugh. Phew. I'm so happy. What about the contract? Oh, yes. What should I choose? I'm halfway tempted to make it an even split and see what happens. But, nah, uh, let's get the frog cyclopses. I will. Thank you, girls. Who's awesome? I'm awesome. You are ironically awesome. Oh, nice. A thousand experience. Of course, that only basically amounts to 250 experience each. So, though. Uh, are you gonna tell us what the lyrics were by chance? Thank you so much for your help. Ludmila and I were made for each other. They say that Rosalind is trying to woo her, but he is, he is no match for me. That was not as funny as I hoped. Okay, we still have this other quest to do. Oh! And here's the paint. Alright, oh, that quest as well. Yeah, but it's yellow. We need green paint. Ugh, this is so annoying. <sighs> Unfortunately, the guy did say we need green paint. Though I'd love to paint the grass yellow. Although, from what I understand, the dying grass is already going to be yellow. So, unfortunately, we can't just skip the whole painting si situation and say, Here we go! We painted the grass! Totally! We painted it yellow! Okay, I think we have all the stuff to give to you. Did you get the food and the booze? Yes. Great. Listen and remember. Stunning Blow is an effective move, but it can only be performed when using a mace, a club, or a staff. You take my hammers from the table if you want to practice, but don't forget to put them back. Uh, I kind of figured on it requiring specific equipment. It means we won't be able to use it while wielding that axe. Ah, it's the first time I regret that Master Boris taught me how to use only daggers and swords. Felicia and Svetlana learn Stunning Blow. Anastasia learns Stunning Blow Plus. Cool. Stunning Blow Plus. Applies a strong stun. Requires a staff, a club, or the, a flail. That sounds very useful. Regular stunning blow. Applies a light stun. Requires a staff, a club, or flail. And this is going to be basically the same thing. Staff, club, or flail. You got a staff. You got a flail. I'm pretty sure that counts. Or staff. What would that count as, actually? I assume that counts. Uh, staff, club, or flail. Zerger's Brain Buster would count. Hmm. 
Well, well, we'll think about it. I want to see what the light effect is. If it's worth sticking with the light or if I want to change the equipment so that I could get the heavy stun. Okay, where did you get some paint? There was a storage set somewhere, they said, right? Here's the lawn that Lieutenant Millorad was speaking of. It must be painted. First, you need to get the green paint. I hope we find different color that we can use, but if we were already denied to use the yellow paint, probably not going to be able to use any other colors. Oh wait, I didn't explore the entire basement after being told to get paint. Maybe the entire basement is where I can find the correct paint. Yep, here it is. Green paint. We finally found it. Or rather, found, air quotes, it. An old paint can. Okay, let's paint the grass. Well, let's get started. Fortunately, the part with yellow grass is very small. I love that we're getting special art for painting grass. This, this is a scene. I feel like a half-wit. Why half? This is not very smart indeed, but anyway, we have to please Mlorad. That was strange, but I think it looks nice. Quiet! Lieutenant Melorad is coming. Have you finished? Yes, sir. Great! Now get the yellow paint and paint everything the way it was before. Are you kidding me? But wait, no! Paint everything in chessboard order. One square yellow, the other green, and so on. But... No speaking out of line. Yes, sir. Permission to engage? Permission granted. Make sure everything is in squares. I think the influence of Warriors Guild traditions is starting to have an effect on me, and this effect is not positive at all. I mean, this is dumb, but I actually kind of like that we're doing specifically this. If he was just telling us to paint it yellow, I'd be more mad, but checkerboard pattern? Sure. I I'll, I'll do that. Well, it looks funny. Yeah, funny. Thank you, girls. You've made this old man happy. It is nice to see that even in our troubled days, at least someone cares about traditions, military discipline, and respects elders. I bet now all guys will be ashamed because women were better. About the contract. Oh, yes. Which ones do you think I should choose? Hmm, this is against the tradition, but let there be frogs. Why not try something new? I'm not a... I'm not a retrograde. You kind of are. Praise Eos. Well. Um, that was easy. Not, not for the girls, but certainly for me. 